Milestone parents look forward to the day your toddler takes her first steps, but crime took that joy away from a local musician's family. So dozens of volunteers came together to surprise the family with an innovative way to give their toddler the freedom to move around. Meg Ferris has more. And that breaking news this evening begins in Treme. That's where New Orleans police are investigating the shooting of a 25-year-old woman. It's no way to start life. The victim at a crime scene before you even take your first breath. Sources with knowledge of the investigation say the woman who was shot was pregnant. While still in the place that's supposed to be safe your mother's womb. That woman was taken to the hospital bleeding from her stomach. That's what happened two years ago before Little Blossom was born. Her parents, New Orleans' beloved trumpet player Kermit Ruffins and his fiance, mom, Harmonise Pleasant, were expecting the birth of their daughter. Harmonise was nine months pregnant when a stray bullet hit her in the abdomen in front of home in Treme. That bullet hit Blossom's spinal cord, so right now she can't walk. Yeah, it's hard, especially, I mean, the, the ordeal we went through. We, we are giving, loving people, and for something to happen like this, it's just, just hard to even believe it. Basically, we won't know anything until she gets older, until she's able to talk and say what she feels or what hurts or what doesn't hurt. But today, that act of senselessness by one unknown person has brought dozens of people together in an extreme act of kindness. It all started for Blossom when this aired on national CBS News. This is a story about a small chair, but it's got a big impact. The kind of chair that gives mobility Master? to children with disabilities. After that national story ran, $35,000 in donations came in. One was 20,000 from an anonymous donor. That's because these chairs are being made by volunteers who are Tulane biomedical engineering students, then donated free to children with disabilities. Two people were watching that story. One was Kermit's aunt, and the other was Blossom's physical therapist. They each suggested that Blossom get one. So the Tulane graduate and undergraduate students got to work in their makerspace. For Jeanette, it's a labor of love as she thinks about her niece with disabilities. It is inspiring. It's like it's one of those videos you look and you just cry and you're happy that you were part of a team which actually made that happen, like putting smiles on people. For Alyssa, it's the inspiration of her engineer mother and her love of volunteering with special children. You're engineering, but you're engineering for a human being. These are people that are going to touch these devices and have a huge impact on their life. Um, and I think this project is a great example of the impact you can have. And for Dylan, it's customizing a simple design to bring mobility to children who can't afford an expensive wheelchair. When I f saw the first videos of the children receiving them, it brought me to tears um, because it was so inspiring how much they're going through already and seeing them be able to gain that independence is just really, really moving. The collaboration with the Tulane students started with architect Noam Platt, founder of the nonprofit Make Good. On the side of his career designing health care facilities, he wanted to fill holes in the system by giving children access to mobility and enjoyment in life. I decided to do it because it needed to be done and uh, people were tired of just kind of waiting for the commercial market to solve these issues or institutions and it really is more on a peer-to-peer -peer level. The project has gone global. Designs and dimensions are gathered and then shared back on the internet. This man on the other side of the world in Pakistan even heard about it and used this simple design to make chairs for children in his community. Philip Dunham was injured in a mountain biking accident and advises make good on design. I think it's a bit different when you get uh, somebody's feedback uh, from somebody that uses uses things day to day. With the chair now ready for Blossom, decorated in fabric with trumpets and a custom nameplate, along with signatures of the students on the bottom of the chair and a framed keepsake, it was time for her to try it out. <laughs> All the excitement and strange faces were overwhelming for a two-year-old. Blossom was more interested in staying in her mother's arms and watching the bubbles her therapist was blowing. 
Mom and dad are deeply grateful to the students, but understandably, it's hard to come to the reality, at least for now, that their little girl needs a chair. Like I say, we, it, the question is how can God let this happen? Of course, that's our biggest question. I mean, just in a shower, crying, you know, just, it's a lot. It means a lot, just because of the whole ordeal, the situation that happened. Just to know people are thinking about, you know, kids with disabilities. Like every dad, Kermit wants his daughter to fit in and be happy in school with other children and do normal teen girl things one day. She is their blessing, and they know when she is in the comfort of her home, this chair will give her a new freedom, like it has for three dozen other children so far. Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana. According to NOPD, the investigation into who fired that shot that hit Blossom and her mom is still active and ongoing. Uh, they say there are no updates or suspects at this time.